Hello everyone. I am a Christian and I hate Muslims and I hate Islam and I hate their prophet. I hate them because they are the enemy. And I'm going to tell you step by step why I hate their religion. The first reason I hate their religion is because we know that God is three. We know that God is made up of three people, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God is three. But the Muslims say that God is one. Why do they say that? God is three. Did you know that Muslims pray by putting their face on the ground? Is this the proper way to pray? No, it isn't. Who taught them to pray like this? This is incorrect. We know that the proper way to pray is by putting your hands together like this. This is the way I was taught in Sunday school and in church my whole life. Now, are they going to teach me something that's wrong? No. If you want even more proof, what you can do is look at the pictures of Jesus. People have painted pictures of him. So if you look at these pictures, you will see that he is praying like this. Now I'm not talking about the pictures where he is God, because in those pictures he basically has his arms out in a loving, embracing way, like as if he's going to come and give you a hug. But I'm talking about the pictures where he's not God and he's only the Son of God, praying to the Father. How is he praying? By being on his knees and putting his hands together like this. That is proof that that is the best way to pray. So Muslims, you're doing it all wrong. I mean, why, why do you pray like that? It makes no sense. Okay, another reason I hate Islam is because it teaches that people should fast for an entire month. Do you really think that God would want you to do this? Do you know that Muslims give 2.5% of excess wealth to the poor every single year? Okay, so there's this thing called Hajj, or pilgrimage, where all the Muslims come from all around the world to meet each other and to worship God. I mean, come on, we can worship God from anywhere. Why do we have to travel to one place just to be unified? Come on, Muslims, wake up. So, as many of you have noticed, in the beginning of this video, I did not say, you know, peace be upon you, or something crazy like that, like how you see the Muslims, how they talk crazy. I said, hello. This is the way that Christians greet each other. So, why do the Muslims say, assalamu alaikum? 
meaning peace be upon you. Is this the proper way to greet somebody by saying peace be upon you? Doesn't that sound weird? Like you just go up to somebody, peace be upon you? No, that's, that's weird. We say hello. That is the way to greet people. Now, not only do the Muslims greet each other a certain way, they keep on saying, Inshallah, which means God willing. I mean, that's just as weird as going around to say, peace be upon you. Like saying, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, God willing. No, uh, if you want to do something, just go do it. You don't have to say, God willing, every single time you're going to do something. Do you, you just go do it. I mean... You, if you want to go, like, let's say, to another town or something like that, you just go. Or you, and before you go, you tell people where you're going. You don't have to say, God willing. I mean, we can do whatever we want. Another reason I hate Islam is because you look at the Muslims, the women, and they wear that thing on their head. They call it a hijab. It's like a headscarf. Why do they cover their heads? Like, that makes no sense. I mean, if you look at the Christian world, um, even if you go to church, you'll find women wearing short skirts and cleavage and stuff like that. That's okay. What's wrong with that? Now, not only do Muslim women wear that funny thing on their head, but sometimes you even see Muslim men wearing turbans. Now, we know that turbans are gross and disgusting. So that's why we, the Christians, don't wear that, because, you know, turbans are just bleh. The Muslims also follow the law of God. Now, do we really need God to make up laws for us? I mean, I think we're pretty smart enough to make up our own laws and sort of decide for ourselves how we want to live. We can just live however we want and decide ourselves on what laws to follow. Do we really have to have like a set of commandments to follow that were written by God. Now in the Muslims holy book, the book they believe was written by God, this is in their holy book, they believe that the Bible is corrupted. It says that in their book, that the Bible is corrupted. But we know that the Bible is God's Word, and God's Word is not corruptible, okay? If the Bible was corrupt, it would tell us that it is corrupt. But it doesn't, because it's not corrupt. You see, the Bible is the only source of truth. We know that because the Bible tells us that. So, if it wasn't the only source of truth, it would tell us that this book is not a source of truth, okay? Okay, and one final thing that I hate about Islam is their prophet came from Saudi Arabia. Can you believe that? Saudi Arabia. They came from Saudi Arabia. That is crazy. Why would a prophet come from there? Not even a single biblical prophet ever even went to Saudi Arabia, let alone was born there or grew up there. So, 
Muslims, wake up and follow the true religion. Follow the religion of the Bible. We the Christians are following it. Why aren't you?